collections are the best way to organize your photos in Lightroom Classic. Welcome to the Visual Center, I'm Trent. And in today's post-production tips, we're continuing our discussion all about Lightroom Classic, specifically the collections panel. Now, I'm pretty excited about today's video because collections are one of the best features of the software. I know in the past, when I first started, I wasted loads of time scrolling through my entire catalog looking for a specific image or a set of images. If I utilized collections properly, I would never have to do this again. Now stick around to the end because I'm going to show you some workflows that you can use utilizing collections that will help us when culling our images, batch processing, or just organizing our images. Now let's take a look at the collections panel. All right, we're going to start here in the library module. If I move to this left panel underneath the navigator, we have our catalog folders and then collections here, this third option. I'm going to drop that down. Now I'm also going to drop down this catalog panel because this will help with navigation when I'm demonstrating collections. Now the difference between the catalog and the collection is our catalog is the total amount of all our images in the software. A collection is a specific group or set of images inside of our catalog. So let's create our first collection. There are a few ways I can do this. I can navigate up here to the library and select new collection or press command N. Or I can go over here to collections and see this plus icon. If I select that and select create new collection, I can now add a name to this collection. Let's call this first one test. I'm gonna leave all the other options blank. Hit create. And you can see I now have a test collection within my collections panel. Now how this works is this is a manual collection. I can click and drag or select and drag an image and drop it onto that collection. And you see, out of these five images, I selected every other image or these three images. And now if I select the test collection, you can see the three images that were added to that collection. I can also remove images from a collection by selecting it and hitting the delete key. Now the really important thing to remember about collections if I delete a collection, which is a set of images, or if I delete an image from a collection, the images are not deleted. They are not removed from my catalog. They're just removed from the collection or the collection is just deleted. Let's go back to all photographs and you can see that that third image is still here. Now let's delete this test collection by selecting the minus icon or by right clicking and selecting delete. It'll come up with this delete collection warning, hit delete, and that collection is now gone. If we go back to all photographs, you can see all five images are still here. Now there's also a second type of collection, something called a smart collection. A smart collection is a semi-auto populated collection. Let me show you what I mean. Let's create a smart collection by selecting the plus icon in the collection panel and then selecting create smart collection. Now we see this new dialog box. Let's give it the name of five stars and then down here in the variable panel, let's select rating and is, and then select five stars. Now hit create, and you can see we've created a smart collection. Now if I go back to all photographs, and I scroll through my photos and type the number five, you can see I'm adding a five star rating to a specific set of images. Okay, so I've done that to five images. Now if you look at my five star smart collection, you can see it says the number five next to it. Let's select that collection. So now this smart collection has auto populated with all of my five star rated images. Let's add a second smart collection and we'll add multiple variables. So let's call this one red five. I'm going to have a rating which is five stars and then I'm going to select this plus icon next to that variable and select color label and is red. Hit create. And now my red five has zero images in it. Let's go to all photographs. Now if I select the five star rated images, I can type the number six and label it as red. So now you see here in my grid panel or my grid preview, you can see the highlighted red five star images. Now let's actually label one image that's not five stars, also red. 
And now let's go to that red five collection. And you can see only the three images, which are both red and five stars, populated that smart collection. Let's go ahead and delete these two smart collections now. Go back to my images. And we can see the images are all still here in my catalog. Now there are a few important things to remember about collections. First is when we delete a collection or an image inside of a collection, it does not delete our images. Second, images can exist in multiple collections. Let me show you what I mean. All right, I have two collections here, landscape and test. I'm going to add this to test and I'm also gonna add it to landscape. I'm gonna add this one to landscape and also to test. And we can see if I select landscape collection, both images are contained within that collection and also within the test collection. The third important thing to remember is that we can create as many collections as we want. The fourth thing is that the collection panel can be found in every single module, so it must be pretty important. Let me show you what I mean. Here we're in library, we see collections, and then obviously if we go to develop, we still see collections. Let's go to book, collections, and now print, and again, collections. Let's go back to library. So obviously it's an important way to organize our photos since it's found in every single module. The last thing to remember is that collections offer a much more flexible way to organize our images over folders or just star ratings or color labels. Let's now look at collection sets. So a collection set is a collection of collections or a group of collections. So let's create a collection set. Let's call this collection set test. Select create. Now let's add some collections to this collection set. Let's do a smart collection and just red labeled images. Let's put it inside a collection set here. Select test and hit create. Now let's go back and also create a, another smart collection. And this time let's do a star rating of five stars and put it inside the test collection set. Go back to all photographs and type five, five, five. This one will do red, this one will do red, this one will do red, and this one will also label red. So if I go to my five stars, you can see all three images containing five star ratings. And then if I go to the red collection, you can see all four of the images which have a red label. I can also add collections to a collection set or remove collections from a collection set. Let's create a new manual collection. So now any images I select, let's add all these images to this manual collection. I have 10 images. I can now remove this from this collection set or I can add it to the collection set by hovering and dropping on top of that collection set. We can also add color labels to collections and collection sets. Now, in one of my previous videos, we talked about the catalog panel. Within that panel, there's something called a quick collection. Click here to view that video. Quick collection can also work with your collections panel. Let me show you how that works. So here in the catalog panel, we have something called a quick collection. Right now it's empty. But notice that there's a plus icon next to this quick collection. If I go back to all my photographs and I select a photograph and type the letter B, it will be added to my quick collection here. You see the number one there? Go to my next image, select B, next image B. Let's scroll over four images, B. This image will select B. And you can see if I select Quick Collection now, all five of those images, which I typed the letter B when I was looking at them, are now located in my Quick Collection. Now I can also remove images from this Quick Collection by typing the letter B here again. Now also, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a little circle icon here on every image. This is another shortcut to add your images to the Quick Collection. If I select this circle, images are now removed from my Quick Collection. Let's go add a few more images back into this collection. I can also select the circle icon here, or I can select an image and type the letter B. Now let's go back to quick collections, and we can see 
the five images that I had just selected. Now what I can do is I right click on a quick collection, I can select save quick collection. Let's call this German landscape, since this is where the images were taken, and select save. Now with this option selected, my quick collection was now cleared out, but I also created and saved a more permanent collection here, German landscape. Now there's also a way to bypass this quick collection. It's called a targeted collection. Let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to create another collection and call this again, German landscape. And I can select here, set as target collection, or I can right click and select set as target collection. Now that plus icon has moved from the quick collection to this new collection here. If I select an image and type the letter B, it is now added to target collection. Next image B, next image B. Now those five images are added to this targeted collection. So hopefully we can see that quick collections and targeted collection can save us a bit of time. I once had three minutes to create a collection for a famous musician to be able to go through to do approvals. We had shot a concert and there was hundreds of images. Quick collections really was a lifesaver in this situation. Now, as I promised, I'm gonna show you a few workflows within the collections panel that should save us a bit of time when having to cull images or batch process. Let me show you. Now to begin, I've created a collection set called Portrait Shoot. If I drop that down, I've also created three collections. First, all images, second, selects, and third, finals. If I go to all images, now let's pretend that these are all the images from my shoot. Now if I'm ready to make my initial selection of images, I can go to loop view and use my arrow keys and the letter P to pick specific images that I want to go in my initial selection. Now, if I filter based off of my flagged images, these are my initial selection. I can highlight these images and add them to my selects. Now, if I click on the selects collection, you can see all of those eight images I initially selected for that first round of calling. I can highlight all the images and right click and set flag as unflagged. Now, all the images are unflagged. I can go into loop view and now make additional selections or flags to the images I want to keep, I'm definitely keeping that one, in my next round of calling. Let's go back to grid view and turn on the filter. I can see my four images. These are the four images I want to now drop into my finals collection. If I go to finals, you can see the four images. So this is a great way to help you call your images and to organize them. You have all your images, your initial selection, and then your final images that you want to edit or maybe deliver to your client. Now this next collection I'm going to show you is a great way to create genre specific sets of images that you can easily share with other people. Let me show you. Now to start, I've created a landscape collection set. I'm now going to add a smart collection to that set. Let's call this landscape. And now I'm going to select other metadata keywords and going to select contains landscape. Hit create. Now the smart collection auto populated with 12 images that contain the keyword landscape. I'm going to drag and drop this into my landscape collection set. Now what I can do is create another smart collection. I can stack on top of this landscape keyword. I can add a rating is it equal to five stars. Hit create. Now there's zero images in this collection. If I go back to my landscape folder, I can select an image and type five. Select this image in five, this one in five, and this one in five. Now, when I go to my smart collection, I can see the best of my landscape work in that smart collection. All right, those are two methods we can utilize within the collections panel that might help save us a bit of time when we need to batch process or call a set of images. Now, if you do have any questions regarding the collections panel or have any other workflow recommendations, 
please add them to the comments below. I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.